Wow, good morning. Another black man murdered by police in Atlanta. At a Wendy's parking lot in Atlanta. What can you say? You know, it's, it's caught on cell phones. What could be something that I mean, you judge for yourself? He was running away. And there was a struggle as they were trying. It seems to me like they had maybe had him in handcuffs, some type of struggle. Regardless, I mean, you call to a scene, someone's, you know, just sleeping in his car. And I don't know if he's on the passenger side or the driver's side. That's neither here or there right now. That's up to the lawyers. And apparently he was arrested for... Uh, Allegedly uh, being placed under arrest for intoxication or attempting to drive him while intoxicated. So, meanwhile, a struggle as they try to place him in handcuffs. A struggle occurred and several seconds. 40 some seconds of struggle and then he ultimately escapes the police and start running away. Police had their tasers out. Tasers are not considered a deadly weapon in the state of Georgia. So I guess they tried to use uh, that as a way to control the situation. So apparently he managed while in the struggle to get one of the police officers tasers in doing so uh he was re actually running away running away one police officer pursued him uh mr brooks looked turned seemed to be aiming the taser you know, Mind your taser is not considered a deadly weapon in the state of Georgia. It's, a, it's not a deadly weapon. Um, while he's still running and for a brief second turned around, pointed the taser at the officer. While running, his back is to somewhat, as he started running, the police shoots him in the back. And uh, apparently, you know, he was pronounced dead on the scene or in, in trance at the hospital or but he bottom line he was shot and killed while fighting for his life, attempting to escape for his life, in my estimation. So it's just another example of the cops um, I don't know you know the guy's running away so you have a radio you have other cops there's two of you cops there you have a radio you can he's pursued on foot you can apprehend them. But maybe it was a good thing. I don't know. You know, for the overall big picture. Not for Mr. Brooks being murdered. Um, but if he would have... They would have called some cops or whatever. It could have been... You might not even saw any type of foot. So... That's a small... So we can see it before. And they're going to obviously try to say, you know, whatever he resisted and the officer. I just find a hard to, I, I just find it hard for you to say that the officer was 
scared and in, in, in fear of his life at that moment. He had a taser. Your taser that you pulled out in, in whatever reason why you needed to pull out at that particular time. You had both officers there and it was probably failure training or training not followed and got away from you guys and was running away from you guys. But yet he was shot in his back, running away from the police. The police was called to the scene as uh, far as, you know, they, I guess they go through these parking lot searches or whatever they do. I don't know if they was called there. I'm not sure. But if a guy is asleep, that means he's non-confrontational from the start. There's a better way to, well, you know, from the footage I've seen. So. He wasn't bothering anybody. He was in a car and he was asleep. So you can just park your car there, stand there, maybe attempt to wake him up, or you can just run the tags or whatever and just explain to him the reason why we're here is that you're asleep and blah, 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 blah. As opposed to this confrontation, whatever it was. It doesn't make any sense anymore. It's just more trying to justify why police are so eager to shoot an unarmed individual. He had a taser. He, the taser was the police officer's tasers. He had a taser, managed to get escape from whatever they were going to do to him. You know, <clears throat> I guess they're going to claim it was resisting and assaulting and he was being aggressive. But he was running away. He was running away and he was shot in his back. So at what point between him actually getting out of the situation, getting to his feet, gathering himself, running away, and you're yelling at him apparently, stop, stop, stop. He turns around. He has the taser. At this point, he's running for his life. He's trying to get away. He's running for his life. And uh, he's trying to save his life. He's trying to preserve his life. So I can't see how the officer can say that. Oh, the shooting. But. Uh, it needs to be addressed. See. There's no more time for negotiations. And. You know. Pushback. Um, you know, whether you believe in all lives matter, black lives matter, whatever one you support. I mean, there's a huge segment of the country that don't support what the police officers obviously have been uh, freely able to do and sanction. Because there's been multiple times when you look into these police officers back background in history while on the job there's uh, some type of uh, blemish on the job complaints against the officer so there's there's a disconnect and they can hide behind you know the, the shield or, or the badge and say that's not staying we're not trying to stain the whole police department we're trying to understand what you're going to do about this racist policy of racial profiling and aggressive behavior towards people of a darker hue. That is the question. What is going to be, obviously there's nothing going to be done about it. I mean, when you think about it, nothing's going to be done. It c continues to happen. And the circumstances are really just mind-blowing because it's always going to probably be happen if you continue to push back and say, oh, well, that's a conversation for another time. Well, we cannot pr properly run the police department if, it, if it's being defunded and 
I, I think you need to really understand what that term defunded means. You need to really realize what that is. Because obviously the funding is not really going towards the proper training, the proper uh, vetting, the proper background checks, uh, psychological makeups, this, that, and the other. Because they are in the community with civilian private citizens of all races and all ethnic backgrounds. And communication is key here. We have to learn how to communicate in a sensible way from all parties and able to uh, go forward. We have to start listening to each other and have a conversation that might make you uncomfortable, but you have to engage in communication. No one should be shot to death because they were a little tired and they wanted to catch up on some Z's in their sleep. You know, how many people have fell asleep in a car while coming home from a, a night out and you might have had some, you know, spirits and some wine or whatever and you just a little sleep. You're not condoning getting behind a wheel and driving, but you might be in a, your friend's car asleep, parents' car, whatever. So, to me, that's uh, it. Just goes to show you, it's just always going to be an issue here when it comes to the racial profiling and when you get when you're stopping people the cops are just not trusted in neighborhoods in the neighborhoods you know the cops don't look like them uh and they go about the way very arrogant and very just aggressive that has to just kind of be like addressed always has to be addressed you have to be a professional and you have to know the laws, you know, you know, you have to know the federal laws. You know, come on, man. Otherwise, you're just going to be in the same boat doing the same stuff over and over and over again. It'll probably be another one before the week's out. It'll probably be another black man being killed quite off, uh, probably by the hands of another black man that goes unnoticed. So, you know. And, and, and white people are getting killed by the police as well. Over the same techniques, over the same type of uh, brutality that the cops come in their aggressive nature and, you know, all of a sudden they're just the, 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 the arresting officer, the lawyer, and the judge all in one scene. Your level of responsibility is taking control of the situation, diffusing uh, the situation do not let things get out of hand at the same time you have to be uh, you don't you have to be firm but you don't have to be just abusive because you're you know you are the person that's on the scene that's supposed to be serve and protect and you definitely have to take some some back and forth some feedback but at the same time, you have to say, look, what's the best way we can get out the situation and try to defuse the situation without it going haywire? And that's the job of the police officer. Knowing his role. And his boundaries and parameters of that role. You cross that line as a police officer, that's it. There's no, no coming back. No coming back, because you're going to do it over and over again. And it's going to ex escalate, escalate, escalate each time. And then you're going to become just a, a monster. You know, your ego will take over. I'm super cop. You know, so 
that's just a little few things this one particular incident that you know they need to uh address this i mean to me there's quietly becoming a revolution in what should have been basically done with we shouldn't be having to deal with this in 2020 the passing of a lynching bill are you really serious and you got Rand Paul that's the only one that's holding the bill up hostage uh, at that time I mean these are things that just no brainers why are we endorsing and no one wants to touch upon it. everyone wants to be you know have their own little whatever but it just the bills just not none of these laws or, or whatever there's just been you know confederate flags and all that that's a treason flag we're fine nazi flags confederate flags Mm -mm -mm. Those are treason flags. That's not America. Those are treason flags. One represents genocide. The other represents racism, white supremacy. Unbelievable. All right, well, t until next time. Hopefully some positive stuff come up next time. Yeah, have a good week. Goodbye.